I didn't expect much from Pokemon Quest. It has an adorable art style, but it seemed overwhelmingly simple at first. It even has an auto button that makes it effectively play itself. However, as I spent more time cultivating cubular Pokemon, Pokemon Quest's infectious and astonishingly deep Pokemon customization hooked me and began to feel compulsive. But maybe not in the most fun way. The actual combat in Pokemon Quest requires little input, so it's not the draw of this free-to-play game. It's odd, but Pokemon Quest is actually a puzzle game about how to compose the perfect team. Picking which Pokemon to use with which move and which passive abilities became addictive and fun. I really enjoyed figuring that out, and seeing my team steamroll difficult levels gave me a sense of pride and accomplishment. Trying to attract the right kind of Pokemon with the right move layout, power charm grid, and bingo bonuses wasn't entertaining considering the massive RNG, menus, and inventory management involved. But finally nabbing it always provided a rush of excitement for the potential of that Pokemon. Knowing how to do this without wasting time and resources is half the battle though, because Pokemon Quest doesn't do much to provide you with the insight needed to succeed. The core Pokemon RPGs don't require an in-depth knowledge of the hidden mechanics to complete their campaigns, but Pokemon Quest gets difficult enough that I kind of did need to know its inner workings if I wanted to complete it with skill rather than grinding out an overleveled team. To skip over the tedious trial and error process, I constantly had a wiki open with specific recipes and other pertinent info while playing. Don't get me wrong, I love tinkering and experimenting to come up with the perfect Pokemon team that would propel me to inevitable victory. But I didn't like how, once I realized that a strategy would work, a mind-numbing and soul-crushing grind was required to get what I needed. I've literally had nightmares how I've been unable to get my shiny Alakazam to learn Psychic. But I kept playing anyway because I wanted to. The grindy gameplay loop of searching for perfection is just plain addictive even if it's not all that fun and the cute Pokemon skin is icing on that masochistic cake. If you have the option of choosing where to play Pokemon Quest, you're much better off on a phone. It's just not very comfortable to hold up the switch with one hand and tap with the other, and when it's docked you have to use a virtual cursor to hit buttons that are just too far apart to reach quickly. I paid $30 for the expansion pack, and that sped things up just enough to make Pokemon Quest grind feel tolerable. And it's a relief to see neither version lets you spend more than $50, so at least Nintendo's not fishing for big spending whales with this game. Pokemon Quest can be a cute little distraction when taken in bite-sized pieces, but it's best served with a lot of patience. For more on Pokemon Quest, definitely check out our Essential Tips videos. You will probably need them. And for everything else, stick with IGN.